Well, what a strange structure this is. And uh, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. And in this video, we're gonna go all the way back in time, all the way back to 2008 or 2009, when I found this strange structure in a sample of dust, house dust, which I collected somewhere under my bed. And I put it on a microscope slide. I luckily did make a permanent mount uh, of this dust sample. And I stored the microscope slide over many years in this little box here that you see. And today I simply want to show it to you again and I would like to also tell you a little bit of uh, how I was able to identify the structure. I have to give credit to someone else. I'll tell it to you right away. I posted a message on a, a web forum and somebody else was able to help me out here because otherwise it would have been very difficult. I would have never guessed what it is, but I would like to tell you the whole thing uh, right now. Well, um, at that time, I essentially uh, made a whole bunch of permanent slides using pretty much anything I could find. Um, I was, of course, also collecting dust samples I was collecting pollen grains, uh, insect wings, all sorts of things. And then all of a sudden I saw um, in one, one of those dust samples, I found this strange structure and I did not only find it once, but on several different uh, places. And I really had no idea what it was. I knew that it must be somehow of a biological origin because of its regular structure and its regular shape. Um, and I first thought this must be some kind of a hair of a plant right? because some plants have those little hair, but it was actually much smaller and thinner and I could really not um, identify it. So I knew that uh, it must have some kind of biological origin, but what it was, hmm, I didn't have any reference. You know, so essentially what I've done is, is I kept uh, the slide in my slide box uh, for some time. Um, I kept on rediscovering this structure over and over again a few times. I may even made a drawing of this and labeled it. Um, and because I was so fascinated by its regular shape, uh, because usually the other parts of the dust were kind of irregular and with dust fibers and yeah, but this one actually looked uh, quite regular and had no idea what it was. So I basically have done the following. I simply kept the slide and I was hoping for good luck that sooner or later in the future, I'm going to find out what it could be because I tried to narrow it down a little bit. I tried to collect dust samples from different places of my apartment. Yeah, but it simply there only appeared a few times. So the quantity was not that high that I could actually come up with a system. And so I posted a message on a web form together with a picture. And sure enough, after a short time, I got the answer. It is the bristle of the car, the larva of a carpet beetle. Here, this uh, picture is uh, one that I got from Wikipedia. Um, the, and if you look carefully, there are many tiny little bristles there, and th it's actually a bristle um, of the carpet beetle. And I then did find a larva, and I put the larva under the microscope, and I found a lot of these structures there, indeed. So yes, I have identified it. Um, but the carpet beetle, actually, these are pests. So what they do is they eat the clothing, and they eat the carpet, and they do actually quite a bit of destruction and not a good thing to have in your apartment. But I was lucky uh, enough that I was able to find uh, one of those beetles and put it under the microscope at that time and lots of these bristles are bundled together. So this is essentially uh, one way of identifying an unknown structure. All you have to do is, is you have to post a message um, on a web forum. And uh, of course uh, after I knew what it was of course I could then uh, more specifically search uh, for um, uh, those carpet beetles and then I was actually indeed able to also find other people that have posted similar pictures. I put all of the links below into the description. Well, I think, yeah, that's all I wanted to short share with you today. Um, and I uh, simply would like uh, to also invite you now, not only to subscribe to the channel, but I'm uh, releasing also a newsletter about approximately once a month. The link is also down in the description below if you're interested in keeping yourself updated. I wish you all the best. A big thank you to all of my supporters, of course. Happy microbe hunting as always. and. See you around next time. Bye-bye.